or cavern that I will roll every second, every two or three turns or something like that. I at least want to go out and try to get a scan of, of what's out here. Basically, is it's basically what I had said. It's just a field of bubbling, hissing mud, basins, you know, that serve as the floor, along with small geysers, hot springs, and mineral crust of rich reds, browns, yellows, blacks, and grays. It is a quite foggy area, and then you can you could see the what looks to be in the distance as the the actual land starts going back up. <clears throat> okay, and then what about this area to our south or to the left of me? It also looks elevated. Yes, you you really can't see you, you you just can see the slopes. I mean, it's just so steamy and you know hot in there. You just really can't see too well. You can see the, you know, what looks to be something going up, but I mean, you, you just can't have perfect vision. Even with no, your, I'm, you know, low lit vision or dim lit vision or or dark vision or whatever. All right, so there's no difference in what we're seeing here as opposed to what we saw against the wall. And now, actually, when you when you start. You guys are starting to proceed. It seems like you can start to see the form of several shadows that oh, seem to be roaming about throughout this massive cavern. What do you, what do you mean, shadows? Like shadows on the ground, yeah. or shadows upright? Uh, no, they're they're upright shadows. It seems like they're kind of sliding across the ground. It, it seems like at some point, it it seems like maybe it is a uh, a humanoid type of figure, and then again, it it becomes more of a solid blob. But uh, you think that there may be something out there. Okay, so I'd like to keep moving along the edge here towards. I'm I'm just gonna move my cursor to show you the path. Okay. So that's my intention is to move down to there and okay. check out that slope. Okay. So if anything happens along the way, that's where I'm at. Well, basically, when you get to about uh, right where you're at now, Gim, uh, you can see the form of a a reptilian type of creature. And he is kind of slithering away from you. And actually, that figure looks to be exactly like some of the statues that you have found on the previous level. So you're actually thinking that is a uh, an ancient Gapru. Oh, okay. No, no, Kanajo, no um, what mud going. Uh, it's not this he, time. He's moving away or towards. Yes, he he doesn't actually see Boy. you, but it seems like he's been patrol patrolling. And then all of a sudden, Ragnaros explodes from the lava, and no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, so he doesn't see us. Oh, Ragnaros! No, at this at this point of time, no, he does not see you. He's basically facing away from you. Okay, so I'm gonna motion back to the rest of the party, and kind of do the shrug like we want to take him now, kind of shrug. Maybe when I talk to him. You know? <laughs> I don't speak whatever he speaks. I know that for sure. Oh, is it? If anybody else wants to try to talk to him. Somebody does. The uh, Kaprus will, if it, you know, you guys have lore on that, would be common and deep speech. Seems like it'd be cheating, though, to. Because I have three do... undecided languages. <laughs> oh, you can't choose okay. them right now. What, what do we know about these creatures? Do you think any of us know anything about them? You know a little bit. You know that they, they can speak common. Uh, you know that they so can... What do we know about their mannerisms, uh, you know, alignment type based? You know that they are definitely a an evil type of creature. You know that they can sustain and breathe underwater. And 
that's that's about it. That's about all you need. Okay. Well, that's all I. I don't know that I'm going to try to. If I know that much, I'm not really interested in having a conversation with him. <laughs> I'm going to go up and shake his uh shake his tail. Yeah. So I'm going to like motion to anybody with a ranged weapon to go ahead and let's get this or motion to attack to get this moving without making a sound just kind of a a point towards him okay I'll take game with my longbow I have a longbow as well I can switch to that I don't know if I get any bonus for surprise or back attack. I, I will give you advantage, of, seeing that he does have his back turned to you. You can't have advantage on oh my God. attack. Actually, you hit, so he has a 12 armor class. Wait, what the heck did I... Uh, something just broke. <laughs> my macro was broken. A D20... Oh, man. You have D203. Yeah. <laughs> Whoops. I want that roll. 15 damage. Mate. Okay, you hit him for 15 damage. He now knows that you are there. And now I'm going to... I wanted to talk to you. I'm sorry. Do, do all the rain shots go off in enough time before initiative? <clears throat> who, oh, all, who all shot, shot at something? the same time? Yeah, okay, well, who, who all shot? I see that uh, Aerith did 15 damage. Matt, it looks like you hit with a 17. Okay, so and that's it then. Those let me are roll my damage because it's broken. Baron rolled. Okay, roll your damage. My macro is all broken. So it looks like Baron missed, so that would be the end. Yeah, they're definitely uh, yeah. have immunities to fire and you know all that other good stuff. So Seven damage. Anybody else was... Uh, Launched an attack before the. No, the only thing I did was I'm it's just, just move in front of, move in front of folk. Okay. So it was basically just uh, Rhiannon and Aerith that launched bows, right? Correct. So we, uh, we yeah, all well, had advantage. Uh, uh, or was it just Baron did Aerith? as well? Oh, Baron, you need to roll advantage. You need to roll again. Oh, okay. Yeah, you get an advantage roll. No, of course. Eh, you're close. But your arrow whizzes by his head. Well, he turns around you. Draws his scimitar. For, well, actually, he for didn't a crit, have to draw but it anyway. So. I got the same thing anyway. And he charges towards you. Initiative. I will do initiative for the party again. Looks like Rhiannon will be first, then Gim, then the Kopru, Baron, Aerith, and then Lormar. Damn, Lormar, you've had some bad well, initiative rolls tonight. Well, since since actually I'm too far away to really do anything, I'm going to shoot him in the face again with the, my longbow. You could move <laughs> up, but yeah. yeah. I'd rather not. You don't want to be too far away from everybody either, so... Right, 24 Four. versus AC, 8 yeah. damage. Alright. He's still going strong. Gim, you're up. Alright, <clears throat> right, does this stuff in front of us look like it's walkable? Uh, it is pretty mushy, but where these... Uh, the small circles, those are the stalactites that actually can join between the roof and the ceiling. And then it's, you know, so yeah, you, you can, you just can't be exactly on on the small circles like this here or oh, okay. this here. Right. Or, you know, what the hell is that noise and that, and that and you guys need to get some headsets. Too much background noise. Buy some headsets. <laughs> so I'm going to move here and take a swag at him. All right. AC 12. 
So that three remembers bleed damage. Okay. Oops. Anybody in the stream notices hit points before I type 12 in there like a jack ball? I think he, is, he was at about 50 if I'm not mistaken. Alright, now it is the Kopru's attack. The Kopru will get two attacks per round. He will get a a bite and a tail claw. Alright. So he is going to attack you there, Mr. Gim, that has engaged him. And his attack is a 13 versus armor class. That was his bite. And now his tail claw attack is an 8 versus AC which is also a miss thank you Bowman so I did guesstimate the HP to be correct alright now Baron you're up alright I'm not going to be able to reach him this round so. and as he's attacking he lets out a, a scream as well like a high pitched type of shriek or scream That's about it. All right, Aerith, you're up. If I look around, do I see anything? Not at this point in time, no. Oh, good turn, yes. All right. It. What is it? That is definitely hit. You're hitting uh, AC 12. Ah, uh, great. Oh. How many dice is on my roll? So, does he have. Can he apply a sneak attack? Because Kim is next to him and. Yeah. Can still use a reaction. Yeah, he's not engaged to Aerith, so I suppose he can. Lormar, you're up. Right, I'm gonna move closer and cast Sacred Flame. Okay. All right, I'll do a quick deck save real quick. Oops. Don't you wish? That we were level 5 already. <laughs> yes, so your cantrip two. would have an extra... Two. Alright. Rhiannon, you're up. <clears throat> How are your spells right, looking? Uh, getting pretty low. I'm all out of level 2 spells, so... Dope. Yeah, I'm just gonna shoot it again. Alright. That's a hit for 9 damage. He is definitely bloodied now. And I'll move over here. Or I'm actually. Alright, and now Gim. Too far. Up. And go ahead and complete your movement as well, so. And Gim, you're up. You want me to roll damage? Uh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, yeah, you killed this guy. And as he dies, yeah. he... He shrieks. And another copper is answering 
the call. All right. Um, what does it look like is up on top of that ledge up there? Uh, it's still it's still pretty pretty cloudy. You really can't determine all you all you can see that there's just darkness up there because of the steam and everything. All right. How, uh, what do you guys? We need to do this quick, but I think our best bet is to maybe get some high ground here. Yeah. Hey. Hello. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna move. We're gonna move down this way, and check out whatever's up on this ledge. If it looks like it's clear. Uh, we're going to kind of give ourselves a defensive okay. position here. If everybody could move up. What, what, what do we see when we get up here? You can actually see, <clears throat> well, this other copper has been charging the entire time. So you see a more, dis uh, a more clear picture of a, of a Humanoid type, well, another copper charging through this this mist. So you definitely see that he's getting closer to you, and he's okay, basically the, screaming as well. And you hear several other screams throughout the throughout the chamber as well. Okay. What? But behind us, what's that area? Where oh, it's says number forty-eight. It's, it's just a a massive boiling well, and it, it okay. says on this uh, high black terrace is a pool of steaming water. On the on, along the wall of the cavern here. Okay, so let's let's keep our well, me and uh, uh, Baron will sit here at the in front of everybody, and as they get in there, start firing as soon as they're in range. All right. Well, th this copper would probably uh, be in range now, so I'm going to give him his last bit of movement, and this other copper is about here. He was definitely hustling as well, so. And I'm going to put them at the rear of the turn order. So, Baron, you're up. But yes, you now see two copper uh, that are screaming as well, so. You just, you can hear these two screaming, but you, you don't, you don't think you hear any others as they're approaching. Man, they killed that first copper so damn fast. They're doing a lot of damage. Is there any advantage for us having this um, height advantage? None whatsoever. No. No, it's just because it's a you guys. it's a it's a terrain that they're familiar with, so you won't you won't have advantage any kind of advantage. Okay, and I'm just gonna go ahead and try to keep that. Okay. He has an AC-12 as well. Nice hit. Uh, that's a crit for him. Oh, it is, isn't it? Yeah, you, you can, yeah okay. Well, roll your crit damage. Well, you guys are making it count when it needs to, huh? So what's the crit for me, though? You roll your regular damage and add another D in there. So if you're one D eight or one D six, then it would be two D six plus your bonus. So, so if you're using it one handed, it's you roll your regular damage D eight and then you add another D eight. No, two D eight plus whatever. Plus your bonuses. Nice hit. You definitely hit him good. Upside the noggin, he screams, and he can continues to barrel into your pyrameter. Can I make another attack with the last extra whatever? Uh, you. How much movement did you have? Are you still wanting to do a little bit of movement? You probably should be using your action surge right now. Yeah, 
I didn't move the entire 25 feet. Okay. Yeah, you, your your action surge is back up because you did have the the rest there. So. Trying to look at what that is. Action surge is another attack. You get okay. another attack. You get another action, actually. That's what action surge is. You just get another action. Nope. All right, and your second attack missed, and now it moves to Aerith. You're up. All right, you hit Aerith for nine damage. Now, were you attacking the one on the right or the left? Right. Okay, nine more damage. Okay. And now, Lormar, did you want to make any kind of movement or anything, Aerith? No. Lormar, you're up as well. So, how are your healing spells looking there, Lormar? Getting pretty low. You're about out. Yeah. All right. Left to my movement. Okay. Oh, they changed the crit rules, guys. They're uh. uh Aerith is right. What's that? It says when you score a crit against a target, the attack deals maximum damage to it. This means you don't roll attack dice damage. Instead, you take the highest rolls for each of those dice could produce and then apply the modifiers. In addition, the target takes extra damage, rolling one of the attack damage dice and adding it to the damage. So you, ro you get max on your regular hit, and then you roll an extra... D whatever, and that one's random. Well, he already rolled max on one of them anyway, so <laughs> it was forbearing. Yeah, that's true. Well, yeah, that's going to come back at us too, so I'm just reminding everybody. What, what page is that on, Chris? I'm reading How to Play, page that's 20. It's on page 20 of the How to Play, yeah. Yeah. At the bottom. All right, I got, oh, wow. I got sidetracked here. So, where are we at, guys? Sorry about that. I just. That's kind of cool because. Because it applies to spells that I have that target AC. Okay, Lorimar moved, and did he cast, uh, or did you attack? I don't remember just... reading anything about that in the changes. So this is... Yeah, I don't remember it either. This is all news to me, and this is awesome, because I've already made 100 monsters. Unbelievable. Oh, well. No, I'm ending my turn. I can't do anything at this range still. Yeah, this is all new to, news to me. I'm gonna have to look at the. Maybe they put another ninja <coughs> download in there. So, all right, Rhiannon, you're up. Well, I haven't downloaded anything since the last one, so it's it's been there since then at least. Yeah, but it, it wasn't and in the actual change notes though, because I had read the change notes. The... Unless I overlooked it, which I don't think I did. But yeah. Well, anyway, I'm going to shoot again. All right. On the one on the right. I believe that's a hit for seven damage. Actually, they they did announce that at the uh, the very end of the changes, but I stopped reading about halfway through the class changes because I. I felt that those were way too many class changes for the last public play test, so I think I got discouraged and quit reading about halfway through. But they did they did put it in there. Alright, well, I'm done with my turn and it's Gims now. Alright, and uh you hit four seven, correct? Indeed. And which one? The left or the right? 
The one on the right. Okay. Oh, that's great news. That's really awesome news, actually. All right, game. I'm gonna, on. I'm gonna move up next to Lorimar, and I'm gonna save my action as a reaction for when he comes into range to attack him. Okay. Just hold your uh, spot until the end of the round. Just remind me. And now the Kapru is going to attack you, Baron. And the Kapru gets two attacks around. And the first attack will... It is a bite on you. And he basically fumbled. And he basically slipped on one of the just one of the paths and he'll he'll be able to get back up and recover and he'll be okay for next round to attack so and the next copru is going to move up he is going to engage Lormar and he is going to attack and a nine for his first attack is a miss and a 15 with this tail claw attack is a 15 hit. Nope, oh, nope. Okay, well, that is two misses. So now, Baron, you're up. Alright. Swing again at this point. Okay. Okay, now, now did I lose my attack? I didn't lose my attack, did I? Uh, no, you can, you can still go. Thanks for reminding me. Do you want me to roll it now or what? Go ahead, yeah. Because you readied your action, so go ahead. Sorry about that, Baron. One second. No, it's cool. Alright. Roll your damage. Jesus. And that, and that four is uh, uh, lead damage. Okay. Yeah, you, you hit him pretty good, so. Now, Baron, you can go ahead and go. Man, that really pisses me off about the criticals. Because ah, now I have to redo all of my monsters. Holy shit. That a few is more levels be than so that would be work. a crit. God damn it. Yeah, that would be almost a crit. It's definitely a hit, though. Ah, oh, that took the wind out of my sails. What the fuck? God damn it. Alright. 12 points. He is now considered bloody. I believe that's all I can do. Aerith, you're up. That is a miss, sir. Do you want any other movements or anything? Take that as a no. Lormar, you're up. Alright, I'm gonna whack him with my mace. Alright. That's a miss. Rihanna, and you're up. Did you want any other movement, Lormar? No, I'm good. Okay. Alright, well, actually, to change things up, I'm going to fire off a magic missile. Oh. <laughs> At the same one that I've been attacking. Do 12 damage. Got it. Gim, you're up. So that hit, uh, and I'm going to again, that, that ended. That yeah, four on the end is bleed. Yeah, give me another D4 as well for the stack. Uh, 